What does it take to build a $2 billion bridge that could transform an entire city? A bold vision? Incredible engineering? Or is it something more? Lagos, Nigeria's economic powerhouse is about to make history with the fourth mainland bridge, an engineering marvel designed to redefine not just Lagos, but all of Africa's infrastructure. Spanning 38 kilometers, this bridge promises to ease the traffic nightmare that has plagued the city for decades. But here's the real question. Is this bridge really as ambitious as it sounds? Or is it just another grand plan with lofty dreams? In this video, we'll be talking about how the fourth mainland bridge is set to revolutionize Lagos, the challenges it's facing, the massive investment involved, and the impact it will have on both the people and the economy. We'll explore the project's design, its ambitious goals, and how it aligns with global development initiatives. Stay tuned as we dive into one of the most exciting infrastructure projects in Africa today. If you're excited to learn about this groundbreaking project, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on incredible engineering stories like this. Lagos is no stranger to traffic jams. In fact, it ranks among the most congested cities globally, with commute times between Ikorodu and Aja stretching between three to six hours. And when you're stuck in traffic, the economy suffers. Time lost on the road is productivity lost. So, how do you solve such an immense problem? By building one of Africa's most ambitious infrastructure projects, the Fourth Mainland Bridge. This 38-kilometer dual carriageway is set to connect Lagos Island to the mainland, bypassing the busiest parts of the city and creating smoother access between critical regions like Leki, Ikorodu, and Itamaga. But is this just another bridge? Or does it represent something more profound for Lagos and even for all of Africa? The fourth mainland bridge is not only a solution to Lagos's traffic crisis, it's an opportunity for economic growth, job creation, and urban renewal. With its projected completion in 2027, this bridge is a symbol of the future, a future that's being carefully constructed one beam at a time. Do you think the fourth mainland bridge will solve Lagos's traffic crisis? Drop a comment below and share your thoughts. We'd love to hear your perspective. Let's take a closer look at what makes this bridge so special. The fourth mainland bridge is designed to be more than just a road. It's a multi-layered solution for today's traffic and tomorrow's growth. With two lanes on each side, it will feature a total of two by four lanes, designed to ease congestion, accommodate high traffic volumes, and provide space for public transportation options. But what else sets it apart? A Bus Rapid Transit, or BRT, lane is also integrated in the design, providing a much-needed solution for public transport commuters. This will significantly improve efficiency for Lagos's bus system, and it doesn't stop there. The bridge has been thoughtfully designed with future expansion in mind. Light rail systems may eventually be added, ensuring that the bridge serves not only today's needs, but also those of future generations. And let's talk about the key features that will make this bridge truly stand out. There will be three toll plazas and nine interchanges to manage the flow of traffic and make sure that you don't have to wait long at any one spot. This means smoother transitions and quicker journeys. Whether you're traveling to work, running errands, or heading out on a road trip. Plus, one of the most interesting parts is the four and a half kilometer lagoon crossing, which will connect different regions across the Lagos Lagoon, one of the city's most iconic water features. Know someone who would love to learn about this ambitious project? Share this video with them and help spread the word about the future of Lagos. Now, what about sustainability? This project isn't just about moving cars from point A to point B. It's also about protecting the environment. 
eco-friendly design elements have been incorporated to ensure that the impact on the local ecosystem is minimized. Because after all, this bridge isn't just for today, it's for tomorrow's Lagos. And we want to make sure it's as green as it is grand. What else will the fourth mainland bridge do? It will connect key areas, Longbasa and Leki, Bayeku in Okurodu, and Itamaga, making these regions far more accessible. This increased connectivity will not only reduce travel time, but will also make it easier for businesses, families, and tourists to move between the island and the mainland. This strategic alignment is vital because it will reduce pressure on other bridges, especially the third mainland bridge, which is currently one of the city's busiest. If you're finding this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on more incredible infrastructure projects like this one. But what makes this project so special isn't just its size or design, it's the impact it's going to have on the daily lives of millions of Lagosians. Think about it, economic growth, reduced commute times, and better regional accessibility. These are the real benefits. This incredible project has already begun. The Lagos state government kicked off construction at the end of April 2024, and by now, major progress is being made. It's 2025, and the bridge is steadily taking shape. Phased construction has already started, with work beginning at the Abraham Adesanya Junction, and the progress is as anticipated, despite earlier delays. While the project faced several obstacles in its earlier stages, such as financing issues and planning challenges, the government and private sector partners have worked tirelessly to get it back on track. The support from a public-private partnership model has ensured that construction continues smoothly and the bridge is on course to open in 2027. But how is this massive project being funded? The answer is through a public-private partnership, the model that allows the private sector to share in both the financial risk and reward. This also ensures that the project is completed on time and within budget, with both public and private players invested in its success. This bridge isn't just about alleviating traffic. It's about creating a backbone for economic prosperity. With a total cost estimated at $2.5 billion, it's a long-term investment into the future of Lagos in Nigeria. Upon completion, it will likely become one of the longest bridges in Africa, joining the ranks of the other world-class infrastructure marvels. But what can the people of Lagos expect once the project is done? Improved traffic flow, enhanced economic opportunities, and a cleaner, greener city. The vision for this bridge isn't just about solving today's problems, it's about setting the city up for decades to come. With all these grand plans, it's essential to consider the environmental and social impacts of the Fourth Mainland Bridge. The Environmental and Social Impact Assessment, or the ESIA, has been conducted to ensure that the project won't harm the environment. While there will be challenges such as disruption to ecosystems and water quality concerns, mitigation strategies are in place to minimize these impacts. In fact, this bridge is designed with sustainability in mind, balancing modern infrastructure with eco-friendly considerations. For instance, there are plans to preserve the Lagos Lagoon and minimize air pollution during construction. This approach ensures that while the city grows, it doesn't do so at the expense of the environment. While the fourth mainland bridge promises great benefits, it's also going to impact many communities along its route. But what does that mean for the people whose homes and businesses will be affected? Will they be left behind in the process? The Lagos state government has committed to ensuring that everyone impacted by the bridge's construction is treated fairly. This includes compensating landlords and tenants whose properties may be demolished during the construction process. It's not just about paying for the land, it's about fair compensation for the lives that will be disrupted. A resettlement policy framework has been put in place, guiding the process to make sure everything is handled transparently 
and according to international standards. Through this framework, displaced individuals will receive support to relocate and rebuild their lives, ensuring minimal disruption to their social and economic well-being. The goal here is clear. Minimize the negative impact on those affected and provide adequate compensation and resettlement options. This approach is vital as it's not just about building a bridge, but building a future where everyone can thrive. But the fourth mainland bridge isn't just a Nigerian achievement, it's also a step towards global progress. This project aligns with several key global development goals, showing that Lagos is committed not only to building infrastructure, but to doing so responsibly. For instance, enhancing transportation infrastructure will facilitate economic growth and innovation in Lagos. It's all about making the city more accessible and efficient, which in turn encourages both local and international businesses to invest in the region. The project also supports sustainable urban development. By connecting key regions, the bridge will reduce congestion and pollution, making Lagos a more livable city for its residents. As traffic flow improves, so will the overall quality of life, making the city a cleaner, greener place to live. And let's not forget the project's positive impact on climate resilience. The bridge includes eco-friendly design elements and measures to minimize environmental impacts, contributing to Lagos' efforts to protect its environment for the future. The sustainable approach of the fourth mainland bridge will set a positive example for other African cities, showing that growth and environmental care can go hand in hand. Finally, this project perfectly reflects the power of collaboration. The partnership between Lagos State, private contractors, and international stakeholders exemplifies how effective cooperation can drive sustainable development. By working together, these groups can turn big ideas into reality, creating lasting change in Lagos. So, what does the future hold for Lagos and the Fourth Mainland Bridge? When this project is completed, the Fourth Mainland Bridge will not just be a way to get from one side of the city to the other, it will be a game changer, a powerful catalyst for economic growth, job creation, and improved quality of life for millions of Lagosians. It will enhance regional connectivity, stimulate local economies, and pave the way for future infrastructure projects across Nigeria and Africa. In fact, the bridge is projected to become the second longest bridge in Africa, and its construction will help ease traffic congestion in Lagos like never before. With three toll plazas, nine interchanges, and a four and a half kilometer lagoon crossing, the bridge will not only serve its immediate purpose, but also offer future expansion options to accommodate growing urban needs. By 2027, Lagos will have a new landmark, not just a bridge, but a symbol of resilience, innovation, and progress. The fourth mainland bridge will stand tall as a testament to what can be achieved when vision, planning, and collaboration come together for the good of all. As Lagos continues to grow, this bridge will be a defining element of the city's evolution. A bridge that connects more than just land, but also people, ideas, and opportunities. The future of Lagos is being built, one beam at a time. And with that, the fourth mainland bridge is more than just a construction project. It's a new chapter in Lagos' story. A city built to thrive, connected for generations to come. As this ambitious bridge takes shape, it's clear that Lagos is moving towards a future of greater connectivity and growth. Thanks for watching. If you're fascinated by the fourth mainland bridge and want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. What do you think will be the biggest impact of this bridge on Lagos? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, Make sure to like and subscribe for more updates on this groundbreaking project and other exciting developments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think will be the biggest impact of the fourth mainland bridge on Lagos? Drop your answers in the comments below.